In a world where you need audio heroes, several nerds will come together to fight for nerd kind. It's time for nerds to step up and unite. It's time for a crisis on infinite podcast. <laughs> So I learned that tennis is very hard last week. You what? played tennis or we tennis? Real tennis. Yo, we tennis ain't no joke. We tennis ain't tennis joke either, though. <laughs> no, we tennis no. ain't no joke. We tennis, you're like, bro. No, you don't. You just sit there <laughs> oh, you know, you know what's also not a joke is switch tennis. Switch tennis, you're like, really? Yeah, because really? essentially the ball disappears, and then you're just going in on sound. You're like, um, <laughs> I think it hit the ground. <laughs> I'm not sure. Is that, I think it hit so the it ground. just floats over and just yeah. hits you right in the hand. But the thing is, so you can't escape that mode right. until you get to, like, a six or whatever. But you don't know who's getting a six because you're like, I think I got two now. I'm not sure. Just bring back Mario Tennis. That was the best game ever. Ooh, that was a good one. No, well, there's one. There was also the tennis from Sega Dreamcast back in the day. That was the oh, yeah, I remember that game. Andre Agassi Dr- and yeah, 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 yeah. everybody. Oh, ooh. I forgot what it was. Hey, yeah. buddy, hoodie's back. I'm back. Hey. Hey. You're what? I'm back. Oh, hi. What do you think I said? No, I, know. I know what you thought I said. That's okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> I came back from a super secret meeting, which you're going to hear about at the end of this podcast of where we're going next week and where we could be recording a podcast from. Ooh. We're still figuring that out. <laughs> but my name's Hoodie. I'm Kevin. I'm Javi. And I'm Mr. Eric V. He's back, you? everybody. Feeling What's up? up? I felt like joining today because yes. you guys are down a soldier and Alex. She's busy doing stuff, so I figured why she's not She's learning big guys. things today. Yes. R.I.P. Oh, she's not dead? She's being a big girl. <laughs> No. I think people think she's Johnny. surely alive. Johnny. <laughs> but you are listening to the 41st episode. I have a hard time saying first of Crisis, Crisis on, on Infinite Podcast. Podcast. I have a speech impediment. I'm sorry. First and thirst. Those are hard words to say to me. It's cool. I can't say uh, it's a county on a on west on a western eastern shore. I can't say either. It starts with a W. Oh, you Westminster? mean Westminster? Wessex? No. You mean Worcester? No, not that. Yeah. Worcester? No, that's Worcester. It's like it's like Wicco. That's no, Worcester sauce. Wico Wico Mick. Oh, what Comico? There you go. Where's that? Is that Comic Con? <laughs> no. We Comico. <laughs> it's it's We Comic Con. It's on the uh, Eastern Shore. Geography minute with Javi. Here. <laughs> 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 it's, it's in but between. let us know what speech impediment you have by uh, <laughs> tweeting at us at infinite underscore pods. Just commenting on there. We'll, we'll talk back to you. Say, We're oh man. Fun of it too, Hoodie. Don't forget. We're we, just saying. We, yeah, yeah, we will acknowledge and be like, hey, you are a trooper for powering through that speech impediment. With swords and arms. But yeah, just stay on there. We want to make sure you know all about the nerdy news you need to know. Mm-hmm. See all the ends and alliterations I made there? Mm-hmm. I'm back. <laughs> a week away gave me so much like, yeah, alliterations. <laughs> I'm dancing right now. I love alliterations this But first things first, I think this is probably the biggest news in superhero m- movies. Uh, yeah, I would say so. Javi, what's the breaking news? Earlier this week, uh, a good friend of ours, not he hasn't been on the podcast, but Ryan Reynolds. Yes. Uh, he hasn't been on the podcast yet. Yeah, he hasn't yes. been on the podcast yet. Yes. Star of Deadpool and the upcoming film Deadpool 2 posted a picture of Zazie Beetz. Zazie Beetz. Who will be playing Domino in the upcoming Deadpool Ooh. 2 movie. And boy, did she, she look good. good. Mm, yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah. So I, I first thing I searched to let everyone see the image for Domino's, the first thing that came up was pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Google, why do you think I'm hungry right now? It's funny. It came they up before know, the they know game. me too well. Like, yeah, it came up before Domino's. It's actually the actual game. Like that's funny. I was like, all right, yeah. cool. Did you ever see the Domino game. movie? With no. uh, Kira Knightley, I'm about to hunt. Yeah, I did see that movie. That was a great movie. I paid to see that movie. I was like, that's really, that's a really good movie. Oh yeah. snap! I just oh. So they, uh, TMZ has breaking footage actually released mm. yesterday. Oh wow! Of her in the movie, but okay. So if you don't know uh, Javi, who is Zazie Beats? Because I know we had her as a Bay of the Week. Ooh, I think like the first week you came on. Yeah, she uh, is pre- uh, She's most known for recently uh, her role as Donald Glover's girlfriend in Atlanta. Baby mama on FX. Yeah, her, her ba- his baby mama. Mm-hmm. So um, that's where you. And she's been picking up a few roles, and I think this is probably her next biggest one besides coming. back. Back in Atlanta season two. Mm-hmm. So. This has got to be her biggest role, dude. Oh, yeah, Dead for sure. Two? Well, I mean, yeah, you're, Atlanta I mean, did win a Golden Globe and, and, a, an, Emmy. and an Emmy. So, yeah, so like, this I, is going to be like, this could make or break this woman's career. Mm, I, have that's a mar- true. I have a filmography right here, and this is her biggest role. 
Thank you. No, I do have to say something. You forgot to say Ryan Reynolds of Green Lantern. I know that was a terrible I, movie, but I, I, it I, wasn't on. that bad. I don't. I you don't acknowledge that? I, I don't know her. I know last week you guys were talking about Green Lantern and everything. I, I, I personally like, oh. side with Kevin with the uh, Jim from The Office being Green Lantern, so. Oh. But if you want to hear who we think is Green Lantern, just listen to last week's episode. Oof. Our midlife crisis it's episode. It's a good FX movie. It's a good uh, FX movie. Out of here. Like, like, like a here. special <laughs> effects movie, not for FX Network. I like, if, it's on, if it's one on Saturday afternoon, I'll watch it. Now, this is like a TNT, like, <laughs> in the middle of a Sunday kind of a thing. <laughs> no, this is a TNT middle of, like, a Tuesday. Yeah. And there's, like, nothing on. You're like, no, oh, I guess I'll watch TNT. <laughs> Wait, real quick, to get off topic again, who broke the movie for you? Was it Blake or was it Ryan? Or was it just a plot? Oh, it was, you know who it was? It was the big-headed doctor. I forgot the who. Doctor. Oh, it was the evil about. guy. Yeah. The uh, parallax. Yeah, oh, no, parallax pa- is the yellow guy. Like, okay, I'm looking it up right now. Yeah. yeah. For me, it was there. It was the interaction between Blake and Ryan. Right. <laughs> but now they're married. Yeah. They're they're so wait, was that the movie that they, I think that's the movie they met on? Oh yeah. man, you're yeah, welcome. I mean, Superheroes are what unites the world. So in marriage. That's what I need. I need an action movie to meet my future wife. Oh, on. it was a uh, Doctor. Peter Sarsgaard is Hector Hammond. He's the big ham. He's Hector. terrible. That, yeah, yeah uh, that's what really did it. Right. Peter Sorry. Sarsgaard is always this like weaselly villain Ryan and a lot Reynolds, of stuff. Ryan Reynolds went so from Scarlett Johansson to Blake Lively. He's an actor, Kevin. Come on. He's but, probably gone But they a have a baby and like women. they're cute. I don't know. <laughs> All right, He's a good dad. I, after listening to last week's podcast, I wanted to chime in on that because I don't know why. It's just like there's the only Green Lantern movie out there, and it's probably gonna I mean, after you guys said the Green Lantern Corps or whatever, but I was like, come on. Like, ah. The only solo yeah. Green Lantern for a while. It's so bad. And you, if you remember, oh, so at the end of the Green Lantern movie, uh, Mark Strong, who played uh, Sinestro, yes. yeah. uh, he was originally a Green Lantern and became his Yellow Lantern because he got mm-hmm. the yellow ring. Which is right, cool. which mm-hmm. could have been a great Green Sequel. Lantern, too. They could have, like, re- and they're more than yellow and green rings in the Green Lantern Corps. There are so yep. many colors. They didn't like, know that, by the way, too. There's blue. Yeah, I'll tell you about it later. It's yeah. Blue, red, orange. Black. Yeah, they all, all mean right. something. Sorry, sorry for the air <laughs> tangent. Go back to your. It, it gets real deep, but I have yeah. Domino Domino's actual like little mutant profile here. I tell you, tell you her powers real quick. Oh, okay. Yes, <laughs> she like has subconscious profile. telekinetic probability manipulation, so she kind of can create odds for herself. Okay. Enhanced reflexes and agility, master marksman, and expert martial artist. So she kind of is like on par with Deadpool as far as. So fighting. she's a Deadpool female version. With a couple, with with some telekinetic stuff, pretty much, yeah. Is that what you're calling her boobs? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Throw the fish. I'm out. Yeah. At Mr. Eric yeah. <laughs> Yep, the telekinetic powers are there. <laughs> They're there, buddy. And I'm, not, I'm not too familiar with Domino besides the movie that Karen Nolly was in 15 years ago, almost. Mm-hmm. It was like now. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too big on the X-Men, but it's Deadpool, so I'll go see it. Okay. And I, I honestly, I'm not too familiar, too familiar with, the, with the actress either. Uh huh. So this, this is gonna be a whole new experience for me. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm now, excited. I asked Andrew, do you think they're gonna connect this into Infinity? Do you think Deadpool will make an appearance in Infinity War? Never. No. no. Why not? They need. It's all about the money, man. All about the That's money. All money. About the money. And the, but Infinity War is gonna make a trillion dollars. Let's be serious. It really is. It's, yeah. They can't pony up another twenty to put Ryan Reynolds in this thing. I, I think the highest gross movie of all time is Avatar. After next year, it may not be. Right. So, <laughs> not pony up the money to put, right? in, yeah. <laughs> put him in there. Because think about it. With all these superheroes, and you're going to exclude Deadpool, who... Well, see, I think it's it's mostly Fox. I'm I'm thinking it's... Because, wait, Fox does Deadpool, is Deadpool yeah, right? X-Men. Yeah. yeah. And Fantastic Four. Yep. Yeah, I was going to say, I think it's Fox. Because Fox is holding on real tight to their properties, and they just keep trying to redo them to make them happen. Play, but they <laughs> fetch is not going to happen, Fox. Bitch. Also, they're yeah. making like almost there are two no three movies come out apparently next year for X Men yeah. universe. What? So there's the Young Mutants. Yeah. Yeah. Which is supposed to star Arya Stark in it, Maisie Williams. There's Deadpool two, and then apparently there's the Dark Phoenix movie, which yeah. is supposed to come out, which is yeah. going to star Sansa Stark, Sophie Turner. Oh my god! Yeah. Why yeah. supposedly they go that Doom route? is in development for Fox also. Into what? A Doctor Doom movie is in development for Fox also. But yeah, wait, is that going to be with the that. Fantastic Four? Is that going to be Doctor Doom? I think it's going to be Doctor Doom by itself. It's probably going to be terrible, but supposedly yeah. it's in development. I mean, Fox just <laughs> needs to do what Sony did and just, hey, thank you. Here's a movie. Just give us the money. You can do whatever you want with it. Right? I agree. Mm. That's that, very true. Yeah. I mean, it's a good deal because Disney's going to make their money on mm-hmm. stuff besides movies anyway. They have a two, four parks around the world that is just. Does yes. anyone go to the Paris one, really? 
Is it Paris in Japan, right? Or yeah, Tokyo. Tokyo. Yeah. yeah, Tokyo. Yeah, one Par- does anyone go to Paris? I don't yeah. know. That. You're on Disney? I, I feel like If you went to does. Paris, do you think you'd go spend time in Disney World? Yes. When they open that mute, that uh, that uh, Avengers Hotel there, they probably would go there. That's where yeah. my hotel will be. <laughs> Forget <laughs> right next yeah. to the Eiffel Tower. You're in Gate Perry, you're going to go to a Disney World? Uh, come yes. on. Yes. <laughs> Every that time. That one McDonald's. I will walk around <laughs> with a baguette. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> done. Done with you guys. Mm. But something that's not done. Mm-hmm. Nope. Apparently, it's getting rewritten. Star Wars Episode Nine. Really? Yeah. So wait, the whole thing or just like? So what? apparently, they're doing rewrites for the movie. Apparently, it's regarding Princess Leia. Oh, or, oh. So that makes sense. See, that, General yeah. Organa now. I guess if you want to. Yeah. Well, What's Princess Leia? Carrie Poppy. Fisher. Carrie Fisher. Why can't they just holograph her like they did in uh, Rogue One? Well, see, that was to make her younger. And I feel like I feel she like only had what be... one line. She was well, like, "Mark Tarkin yeah. was made like that too, and he's he's been dead for a long time." Yeah, oh, yeah, true. but I feel like like it, it's it's Carrie Fisher on yeah. this one. Like, yeah, I like, agree with like that. name, like you don't know who the who still the so guy who plays Mark Tarkin. That's what he is. The guy named Mark Tarkin. Well, Hope? apparently, so yesterday, yesterday, um, you know, John Boyega is going around for interviews for Detroit, which Davi saw. Yes, I did. Um, <laughs> for just talking about that, but you know, people asking about Star Wars because that's what people are gonna ask him about for mm-hmm. forever because yeah. that's what he's known as now. <laughs> yeah, um, and he was like, "Yeah, apparently the way we send off Carrie at the end of eight is like the best way for her to go out." So now I think in they're either getting rid of her or putting it so that she's like somewhere peacefully. I'm assuming. So like away from the war. Yeah, oh, okay. that's interesting. Mm-hmm. You get rid of Han Solo, and now you get rid of Princess Leia. I am gonna be so hey, got Star Luke. Wars. You got Luke. One more by hand. He's probably going to die in New Hope 2. Mm, well, New Hope 2? I, mean, I didn't know that one was coming <laughs> a, new, a newer hope. <laughs> a newer hope, whatever. The newest hope. The, the newest, newest hope. hope. Sorry, yeah. Last Jedi. The newest hope. <laughs> you know what? There's, there's actually a meme out there that says Star Wars... And then say the last shot that says, please, for the love of God, do not kill Luke Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody Genius. but. Anybody but. But honestly, the movie's still two years away. I think it'd been rewritten re- re- anyway. Because I remember yeah. when I was in high school, we had these things called like rough drafts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I hate you got turning your rough really. draft when you do the final draft. <laughs> Back in my day, <laughs> Back in the day you I had one draft. <laughs> when I was sitting down with a bottle of tea, we couldn't <laughs> backspace on the typewriter. <laughs> <laughs> I had to dip my pen in ink. <laughs> do no, the feather got in my eye. I didn't like it. You used to use whiteout. <laughs> White out, really, Kev? Wow, get out of here. <laughs> no, that's a good movie. Um, <laughs> uh, friend of the podcast, Jordan Peele, am I right? <laughs> hey, ooh. Uh, hey, ooh. But, um, so I, I don't really mind like Kevin because they got two years and they haven't started. I don't think they start the next Star Wars until, I think, a month after it premieres. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. Okay. So that's how they, I think that's how they started with Last Jedi. It was like a month and it was really like a 20-second intro of... Um, the scene right after Ray meets Luke, and mm-hmm. it was it was just a breath. I was like, <gasps> and it was eight. <laughs> <laughs> It'll come out the someday. number eight, and that's how it was. Yeah, it's all. But yeah, but I'm excited for Star Wars just to be back. I love Star Wars every year. It's like mm, in December, until Han Solo is in May. But we're still thinking it's gonna push back to December, right, Kevin? It better. We're Star Wars hoping. means December. <laughs> Star Wars means December. Why? I'll, well, it used to be summer, but now it means December because it, it makes money, it makes bank. People yeah. are going to see movies in winter break. That's why. Star Wars will mm-hmm. single handedly destroy mm-hmm. the, um, Jumanji this year because Jumanji wanted to be released. In you December. know what? You've been saying that for a couple of weeks. <laughs> and watch The Rock put an ass whooping on that Star Wars uh, ass. Okay? If you but, smell what he's cooking, I would not <laughs> defend that point. <laughs> the Rock is the uh, past what? two years, Star Wars has been the Star number Wars one grossing movie cold the past the, two the months. So. What did Star Wars go up against last time? Look at that. What's Assassin's movie? Creed. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Now you're going to go up against actually a star power in Kevin Hart, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Jack Black. And Jack Black. Jack Black. You know what happens And then forget uh, Karen Gillian right there. Too. Exactly. I already forgot about her. <laughs> yeah, but see, I, Nebula. I think what it has going Oh, it's right. What it has going against it is that it's not like its own thing. Because it's like, it's Jumanji, and people are already like, yo, I like the original Jumanji. Why are you trying to bring this back in video game form? Now, I'm probably still going to go see it regardless. Because you millennials know about video games. You, you never played a board game. That's I, why. That is not true. You millennials. Me and my boy here, Hoodie, will beat you any day in Settlers of Catan. I am not beating anyone. Settlers of Catan. What is that? Yeah, it's a board game. <laughs> it's a board game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is what came out in 2015. And then you, you got you three will be the judge of if Star Wars 
had competition or not. So you had Krampus, which was a notable one. You had In the Heart of the Sea. That's another That's one. That's the one with a, with a oh, Thor. The exact day Star Wars came out. Um, and the, uh, Jumanji isn't on the premiere in the same day Star right. Wars came out. They're smart on that. <laughs> yeah. It's the week before <laughs> or after, Kev. Uh, the week because after. Before. Or before. Yeah. yeah. Um, so on the day Star Wars The Force Awakens premiered, you had Alvin and the Chipmunks, The Road Chip. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then you had Sisters, the Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. That movie was trash. Yeah, so that obviously. Yeah. And then only John agree. Cena, that's it. After I, that, I you had The Big you. Short, which was the Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling. Which was about the big the mm-hmm. housing crisis. The housing crisis, which is a really good movie. Then you you had The Hateful Eight. Hey, I saw Ooh, that in Quentin Tarantino, that but obviously dope. beat that out. Um, uh, you had Daddy's Home. <laughs> I can't wait for Daddy's Home too. <laughs> I, I'm on. I'm a. I agree with you on that. John one. Cena. Well, no, John Cena isn't in it. Yeah, he is. He's, in, yeah, he's, he's a cameo he's, at the end. Uh, okay, yeah. but he's not in the second one. This is well, Mel no, Gibson he's, and uh, well, he's, he's the Lord Farquaad. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. He the, <laughs> didn't he end up being the neighbor at the end of Daddy's Home too? No, he ended up being Mark Wahlberg's. New girlfriend's ex husband, ah, so he might be in this one, maybe. Yeah. So then, uh, also, you had Joy, which is the uh, Hunger uh, Katniss okay. Everdeen movie. So, essentially, none of those movies, and, well, you had The Revenant as well, exactly. None of those movies were gonna be box office smashes. The Revenant, all those other movies won awards, yes. Yeah, I was gonna say that's Jumanji Oscar, that's Oscar might season. Win you some and then money. for 2016, where you had Rogue One, you had Jackie, which was the Natalie Portman movie Jackie of Jackie Nass Kennedy. Yeah, Jackie Kennedy. Uh, you had, and this was in January, so it still counts because Rogue One was still popular. You had The Founder, which was Michael Keaton's uh, Ray Kroc movie. Yeah, good movie. You also had Office Christmas Party. Good movie. Which is also a good movie. Very and funny. Uh, sleep on. you had La La Land. Again, yeah. another box. Everyone was seeing La La Land, Yeah, but it though. was to win awards. I'm telling Defenses. you. That's, you're right. Jumanji they, might give you guys a run man, for our money, man. That's funny. I don't, I so, don't think so. This is a trend. Um, Will Smith has had two back-to-back movies in December. So in 2015, he had Concussion, huh. which was the yeah. one where he's yeah, the, the Concussion NFL Doctor. One. And then last year, he had Collateral Beauty, which yeah. was like the which wasn't Ghost of Christmas. That oh, yeah, movie I want to was see that. really good. It is a tearjerker. I highly recommend you seeing that. Really? I want to he myself did a also. spectacular job in that. Yes, Sorry. Kevin. Interesting. Somebody comes out after Star Wars, December 20th. Oh, okay. The week of Christmas. Even better! I'm gonna take my kid to go see Jumanji, not Star Wars. Uh, Taking the monsters in the movie. Uh, we will take the monster to Star Wars. Don't worry, we'll yeah. babysit him for you. We'll show him real movies. He's gonna get that land speed, <laughs> not with my money, but he's gonna get it <laughs> with, <laughs> with your money. Go fuck it. <laughs> I'm telling you right so, now. Okay? So, uh, if you don't know, there's this actual land speeder, sort of like the Barbie Jeep from back in the day, mm-hmm. in like the '90s, where you know kids could drive yeah. around in it, but it really wasn't for adults unless you were drunk. Um, <laughs> there's a land speeder wow. version of that where it's it's the cart, but it's the got the the land speeder from A New Hope on it. So it's like you're driving Luke's land speeder. It's like was it 450 bucks? Something we like said that. last yeah, time. Yeah. It's on Toys R Us. It was like a Comic Con exclusive, and it comes out in September. I think we're gonna let's do a GoFundMe for it. And you know what? We'll play. We'll I'm test it out. Go. We'll test it out for the monster. Don't worry. No, I'm not gonna give him your secondhand stuff. Come no, we're on. just making sure it works for him. Yeah, we're gonna get drunk and do it. <laughs> <laughs> as long as I can participate in the drinking part. <laughs> then we end up break, crashing and breaking. We're like, dang it, that's 450 dollars. Hey, <laughs> that insurance policy. Okay, you just got one of those. There's no insurance policy on land speeders. Am I right, guys? <laughs> yeah. Well, they, they, they do have a 90 day return policy. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> we can bring it. Mangled. The wheel magically just popped off. I don't. Know what happened? It came with the box like this. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, and then uh, one thing I want to talk about is the movie that's coming out this week, and it's a little bit time. It's time for something uh, we like to call uh, "Bring them out, bring them out." Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, I did that in. That's cool. Yeah, I like man. that. <laughs> I like wolves. See, I, see, I let them uh, off the reins last week, and uh, I'm just seeing the aftershocks of what happened. So <laughs> <laughs> I like being uh, on the reins a lot better. But bring them out is where we talk about everything that comes out this week: uh, video games, movies. Sometimes TV, it's if a TV show or special is premiering. Mm-hmm. Um, nothing really in the summer. You know, we'll talk about you know when Arrow and all that good stuff comes out. Can't mm-hmm. wait. Can't wait. Can't but wait. video games coming out this week. You have Patapon Remastered. Um, you also have Tacoma, which came out. And one thing I want to talk about that's kind of interesting. We'll get to in a little bit. Um, in a little bit. But also for movies, you have Dark Tower, which comes out this week. Yes. The Stephen King, Idris Elba. A Matthew McConaughey movie. Yes. And that little kid. And little kid we don't know yet. So Yeah. It's basically Last Action Hero. Just Oh my goodness, it is. <laughs> I, what's that movie? 
What's that movie? Isn't that yeah. what Last Action Arnold? Hero? It, it's, it's like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ninety yeah. six. It's like it's like a backdoor spoof of Arnold Schwarzenegger, pretty much. Oh really? Yeah, like so. so it's Terminator oh. in it. Terminator actually is in the yeah, movie. Oh man, that's a song we can do. I the Terminator song. Ooh, write it down. Ooh. Write it down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's basically about this kid loves these movies from by uh, what's name Jack Slater? Was that his name? Yes. Born in '93, so. <laughs> no, it, it movie came out in '93. Yeah. It's got a 30 percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Well, 37 percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Cool. I only see it's '80s in the butt. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like this kid loves his character called Jack Slater in the movie theater. He gets his magic ticket where he can like travel into the movie world with Jack Slater. Huh. And then he got he comes the magic ticket the from world. Harry Houdini. Don't forget that. Yeah, Harry Sorry. Houdini. Yeah. What? Yeah. And it's a great movie. And then they, they actually, um, the bad guy, actually, uh, Tywin Lannister is the bad guy in this movie. Oh, he, yeah. really? He, he realizes that they're two different uh, worlds. Yeah. And he comes to the real world to be a bad guy and actually win. And they got to come from the movie world to the real world to try mm-hmm. to save him. Nice. Hmm. But it's a real funny movie because it's Arnold Schwarzenegger being ridiculous. It's like driving a Jeep mm-hmm. through the tar pits in California and surviving. Like huh. it's just ridiculous. It just spoofs all of the action movies that he does, that he's done, or others have done, and like uh-huh. you see, because when there's scenes where he goes into like the police station in the movie theater, uh-huh. and you see like an animated cat, and then you see a guy blow up, and you yeah. see all these like things that really wouldn't happen in real life are right. happening there. Like every time the the, the chief is yelling yeah. at him, he's like screaming like this, I'm gonna yell at you like this, he's, and then the the guy's like, he always yells at you like this. This is what happens. You guys yell at each other, the little kid. Yeah, he's like, this is just like in and Jack Slater too, where you do this. So There's a great scene too oh. when they enter the police precinct and they walk past T1000, but they walk through him. Yes. Really? Yeah. I want to watch this. Yeah, I want to it's on Netflix actually. or HBO Go or something like that. It's yeah. on Hulu and iTunes. I just Googled it. Ooh, oh, it's good. on Hulu. All right. Dope. Sorry. But so Dark Tower is apparently getting really bad reviews all of a sudden. The, re- <laughs> the embargo know? lifted last night uh, for reviews, which we know embargo is you can't say anything about until after those are lifted. Yeah. But I didn't know that. it's getting really bad reviews. Interesting. <gasps> Which yeah. isn't that good because I thought this it could have been a Stephen because Stephen King like he has that and he has it coming out this year mm-hmm. yeah and I think on Spike TV they have the Mist like yeah. a Mist uh, oh, mini series yeah, yeah. yeah. That. the year of Stephen King but so mm. far I don't know. what are they saying that specifically about it that's that's they're just saying that the characters aren't really elaborated enough or they're too one tone they're like I kill people I'm the bad guy like that's it I'm, it's a I mean what more do you want yeah. I mean, I'm not really surprised. I don't know, because I started reading the book, and then when I found out that this movie is not actually what happens in the book, but it's rather a sequel to the whole series, mm-hmm. uh, I like sort of stopped reading the book. <laughs> I was like, I don't need to watch. I don't need to read this anymore. <laughs> I like threw it up. I was like, over it. Way to go, Javi. I know, right? But I will say, even in the book, it was a little tough to get through, and like at least the gunslinger who Idris Elba plays. Mm-hmm is very one tone like says the same things over again it's just like the grumpy grunting like oh, yeah i'm a guy with the dark past that's it i don't shoot well my also eye. apparently cuz i don't think we might have touched about this i don't remember but it's also getting a tv show so it's like what well really? not like immediately i think maybe next Later. year like a netflix series or like an actual like i think a tv, a TV show not, not netflix uh, not not but it's kind of like or amazon ooh yeah I don't know, man. I'm a little disappointed with that, though. But, I mean, go see it still. You know, let your decisions be made. Yeah, please. I seen, like, Office Christmas Party got really bad reviews, and I saw that, and I was like, that's pretty good. That movie was hilarious. True. Sorry. What's the guy with the crazy hair? What's his name? You mean T.J. Miller? Miller? T.J. Miller. He did a great Put job. Put T.J. Miller in anything besides the Emoji movie. Yo. And besides Transformers. <laughs> oh, man. Rest oh, he in died. peace. He died oh. in, like, five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, do you have news about Transformers, by the way? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get to oh, that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yes. Oh, yes. We'll get to that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's, so that's Dark Tower. That's that's pretty much the main movie that comes out this week. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, that was... Uh, bring, bring them out. Bring them out. out. They, they can tell based on my breathing. That's when they need to tell. <laughs> I do a lot. <laughs> so I do. <laughs> we're, we're listening very closely. We're, li- to we're literally Imagine Dragons. We go... <gasps> I'm sorry. That's okay. Just something we notice with Imagine Dragons. <laughs> They're actually... You know how... They became sort of the soundtrack to Transformer movies now, which is weird. They took over Lincoln Park. So it used to be Park Lincoln Park, Park and yeah. I think it was until yeah, Mark Wahlberg got introduced and they put Imagine Dragons in. But mm-hmm. something that might cheer Kevin up, I think a lot, because Kevin really loves Transformers. I do. And he also loves the person that's going to be in the new Transformers, and it's not Haley Steinfeld. I was about to say, you uh, can, you, do, it, can you, I do it. Can I do it? Oh, you can do it, yeah. And his name is John Cena! <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> that's serious. Yep. 
As what? He's, he's the main character. Oh, he's, he's the main. He's, he's the main, main, main character. He yeah. Okay, so I haven't seen Last Night yet. I don't want to spoil. Like, I, I love spoilers. So, so, they, so what ooh. happens in Last Night that does Marvel well, die? You take, you got well, it's not. Bumblebee's gonna be a be a prequel. It's gonna be set in the eighties. Yeah. Yes. 80s. And John Cena's gonna be yes, like a commander or something. Ooh. So. I in, love this. I love the, this. Is it the last night, correct? The last night, they, they said the Transformers have been here for a long time. Mm-hmm. For yeah. example, Bumblebee actually fought in World War II. And they cut to a scene of Bumblebee fighting, uh, I think, German troops. Yeah, the, the, the Nazis, pretty yeah. much. What is it with all these movies now? Because you guys said Wonder Woman is going to go, there was World, World War One. Now it's going to the Cold War. Cold War. Yeah, Cold War. Like, why are we going back to these wars? Why can't we just make it more, even more futuristic? People need to start being more creative, Well, man. it's because yeah. movies that are going futuristic, like Valerian, <laughs> you're like, ooh. Yeah, but oh, that yeah. movie tanked because that 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 those guys had no chemistry. Because yeah. I actually watched Suicide Squad the other day, uh, yesterday, while I was uh, while the monster was sleeping. Mm-hmm. And uh, wait, she, oh, you mean Academy no, Award winning Suicide, Suicide Squad. Squad. I hate this. <laughs> I hate Anyways, it. Yeah, she really I had point that out. no, like there was nothing when they're sitting on the yeah, Enchantress. That's the best <laughs> shit. <laughs> she said that. Well, she is terrible. So it's funny. I mean, this is no knock on Cara Delevingne because she's a beautiful person. Yeah, um, even with yeah. her haircut. <laughs> um, yeah. But she did a a song for the for the for the movie Valerian. Uh huh. Um, oh boy. And Pharrell produced it, and you can only go so far with Pharrell. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I Pharrell, love how you said Pharrell that. Is, it's either Pharrell, Pharrell is, and then Dr. Dre. But, like, yeah, like, yeah. but Pharrell can only do so much. Yeah, yeah. I, I love how you said you framed that. Uh, but like, I watched the music video. I was like, oh, this would be a cool two minute distraction. She does the Enchantress dance the no. whole time. <laughs> Man. It's like, and so if you haven't seen the enchant, just Google, just Google enchantress dance. It's literally, it's literally like um, her waving her arms. It's like if you've seen SpongeBob, swiveling. whenever like SpongeBob does a dance and it goes from side to mm-hmm. side, it's literally yeah. that. <laughs> you know she's on Grand Theft Auto Five. I didn't know that. She's, she's a what? what? She's a DJ on, on Grand Theft Auto Five on a nonstop pop FM station. Huh? Huh? Who is? Kara Delevingne. Yeah, she's one of the hosts for the GTA stations. GTA stations. Yeah. Huh. Huh. I didn't know that. I'm gonna listen to that again. Be like, mm. ah, they, oh, she's probably the British one. That probably makes sense. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Ah, huh. yes, yes. I never played GTA 5. Oh, you're missing out, fun. bud. A lot of fun. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but, so yeah, so John Cena is the lead male actor in it. I, he's probably going to be like a commander or something if they're going back to the time Bumblebee was in. Somebody you think he'll be like line. the more, like the Josh, like Dumel, dad. the Josh Dumel of <laughs> the Someone Hades get the five knuckle shuffle. <laughs> five knuckle shuffle. <laughs> well, the cool thing is, is um, I think IGN... I think a week ago showed off uh, wrestlers doing their finishing move in movies. Hulk Hogan and The Rock lead that obviously because mm-hmm. yeah. they yeah, do it. The but apparently, the last the time The Rock did the Rock Bottom was in Furious Seven. Yeah, to oh. Jason Statham. I'm not uh, surprised. No, I think he did an F eight too as well. I didn't see F eight yet, so oh F eight was. I feel like he's done it in all the Fast and Furious movies or a variation. I'm really yeah. just waiting for that Jason Statham and The Rock spinoff, but that's just me. It could happen. Who knows? No. No. What? <laughs> no, 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 no. But something that is actually happening oh my is God. one game that's coming out. Actually, it's out now. A uh, little game I like to call Frisky Business. What's that? Hmm? Frisky Business. So Tom Frisky Cruise Business. Movie? Frisky Business. Oh, Frisky, frisky Business. Frisky, business. Frisky, frisky, yeah. like the oh, cat food. I thought meow, Frisky meow, meow, meow. my. F- Frisky business. I try to be the speech impediment show. That's the name of it. <laughs> but um, so you don't know, like, what the heck is frisky business? So do you guys know of a game called Leisure Suit Larry? I was about to have that game. Yes. So I yes. never had it Neither and never played it. But it's always on list of like top ten dirtiest games or something. Yep. Um, you know when YouTube channels want to do dirtiest games or something, and. Apparently, uh, in that game, you were this actor who was trying to get into the adult entertainment industry, <laughs> and in the goal of the game was to become a adult entertainer. When well, the story broke about that game, my mom actually went through all my games to make sure I didn't have it. <laughs> ah, are you L- and no, in L- this, <laughs> and then Frisky Business, which is apparently the spiritual successor to that game, which is out for the PS4 now, you are a private detective, Falco Frisk, as you take on your first case. <laughs> Falco Frisk. Surrounded by beautiful women and killer clowns. <laughs> and what? Yeah. Nope, never mind. <laughs> You're like, oh, oh no, no. no. But the thumb, so the thumbnail image for this game, and this is probably on the box art, and I doubt it got a a, a retail release. It's a lot like a digital game. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's literally two women on each other. Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. Like, oh, hello. 
Interesting. And, and they're in their uh, undergarments. Hey. Yeah, but um, get some. Yeah, so that's out. Get and some. <laughs> oh. Yo, why you gotta bring it up like that? We don't bring out personal lives unless Sorry. they affect the podcast, sir. <laughs> You're not wrong. Getting roasted, Javi. It's okay. We still love you. I respect, you. dog. I respect. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so you guys want to talk about video games next and get through uh, some video games? Yeah. Sure. All right. Going. So. Big news on the video game front. Hmm, where do we go? So, do you guys know, play some basketball games on the video game I system used to sometimes? Back in the day. Back NBA in the day. 2K was the greatest game ever. The original 2K. Oh, I was gonna say on it, the what, Dreamcast. I was gonna say what about NBA Street? <gasps> yeah, NBA Street was that, was, <laughs> NBA that Street was, was the game. That was clever, and that was right at the height of all the street ballers too. Yeah, so they capitalized on that really well. I had mm. that game too on the PS2. Well, you'll be happy to know that mm-hmm. not only is 2K18 coming out next month with Shaq on the cover, hey, but a little game called NBA Live 18 is back. Okay, welcome back NBA. Live. NBA Live been taking I think like three years off. Wait, the EA version? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh. And what they're bringing to the table that will separate them from the pack of 2K, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the WNBA. Oh, wow. That's right. That's you awesome. can play as any WNBA team and player in NBA Bird, Live 18. Threes. You can be Elizabeth Williams from the Connecticut Sun if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag PA represent. <laughs> oh, She's with my high school. That, I know, right? That was such a plug. I know, right? <laughs> hey, you know what? Hey, t- you you play as her. You play oh, the game. Yeah, mm-hmm. My career all the way. <laughs> <laughs> you should totally do that to send a I go and like, I, I'm in a high school right now. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so you can play as WNBA, and I think it's just like the FIFA route, which I think was last year they yeah. implemented. You could play as the women's teams, women's soccer you teams. Can? Yeah, I didn't know that. So you play. I think it's just the international teams. That's, um, that's cool, kind of cool. Like you play as Team USA, yeah. and it has. Hey. <laughs> and I'll show you all those good teams. That's pretty cool that mm-hmm. they're doing that. I'm glad they're doing that because there are girl gamers. Yeah. 49% of all gamers are girl gamers, so yeah. female gamers. It's still crazy to me. I feel like they're just nerds playing video games. We here. They there. <laughs> That's why they have girl characters in almost every game. They're not just for guys to look at people's butts when they're playing games. Hey, representation matters. Yes. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's okay. We're just having fun here. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Also, on the... Other new front. So you guys remember when SNES uh, pre-orders went live and how they got canceled last week? Yeah, what happened? Mike Jones cried. No, and Mike heard. Jones around yeah, the world I cried. For- <laughs> so as we know, and Kevin and Javi, you guys kind of talked about it last week. A little bit. The SNES Classic, uh, mm-hmm. Super Nintendo, whatever Classic, whatever variation you want to call it. Yeah. Um, pre-orders for I believe it was Walmart, correct? Walmart. It was Walmart. Walmart yes. went live. Yeah. Two weeks ago, yeah, and everyone had a co- conniption of getting it, and you know Mike Jones got it. So people got two. Like, how'd you get two? That's not fair. Well, apparently last week all of Walmart canceled it, and like you guys said, Mike Jones was devastated. He was. Well, he's having a bad two weeks. <laughs> apparently that was because Walmart wasn't allowed to do that, and it was a technical glitch. And but the good thing is, is that that kind of shows Nintendo, hey, this is gonna be just as crazy as the NES Classic. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think on my other plan, I'm just going to buy an old SNES. SNES. It'll cost you like 200 bucks. Well, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I, I know. I know a guy. <laughs> I know a guy. I know a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy. Yeah. But apparently, the actual pre-orders are supposed to go live at the end of this month. So, Mike Jones, you get ready. Are you, you gonna order one? I am not gonna order one. Why not? Because I have my Switch and I am satisfied with that. It makes yeah. sense for him. I, I may just go to go the long route and get a couple, get an old ass NES and a couple games because it's. I don't feel like the man rush to try to get one. Honestly, what you about know? you? I'm debating, man. I really am debating because there's a lot of games on there that I loved playing on the on the SNES. So I don't know. I still have like all of my games from SNES. I still have a console to play them on. But how did wait? How how did that work? I'm a, I'm a little bit of a of a hoarder, but it's okay. How did you not keep the console then? I have the console, but the back of the like the power plug fell out, so I can't actually plug you the power source into that? it. Yeah, just go to some like, retro you game store. You can definitely order that on Amazon, <coughs> Kev. Maybe I'll try that then. Mm. I actually had an ex girlfriend who, I, so my old roommate had an, an NES, and she had the power adapter. I got the power adapter, but then when we broke up, I had to give it back to her. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. He was so mad at me. He was like, "Why?" I was like, "Dude, ship problem." Sorry, sorry. sorry. You still right. like me? Okay. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so are you, Chav, are you gonna get one? Uh, probably not. And Eric, are you gonna get one? Because I know I'm, you were—you were—I don't think you were born when it came out. 
What, what S- SNES? SNES? Yeah. Are you kidding me? I had one. I'm just trying to make you feel young. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. That was the wrong answer. <laughs> you you came out. I, I was alive when that came out. Are you I'm 74 me? years I, old. I, the left and right button were like, that was where, that's where you lived. Mm-hmm. That's where you lived in the top, right there, baby. So you're going to get one? True. You can play with the monster, maybe? Relive some games? So you can break it? Well, I mean, it's a tough... It, it's like a hard shell. It's not built like it is today. Yes. Stupid question. Is it a wireless controller or wired? It's wired. It's wired, but it should be a it's longer, longer wired. The, it's a longer than the previous. Because the NES, it was like a two-foot cord, so literally you, you plugged your t- TV, <laughs> TV here. It was literally... Well, that's what you had to be right in front of the TV screen. Yeah, that's screen. what it was like back in the day when you had the original one. Mm-hmm. That it was a very short cord, so you had to be right up in front of yeah. it. But apparently, they're all, they also, I think for the NES Classic, they released wireless ones, and the same thing with SNES. If you want to pay for it separate, it's like 20 bucks. I'm going to pay for it separate. Oh, so you're getting one then. No, you just buy the don't controllers. Tell oh, I mean, I won't tell her if you want to. <laughs> we won't uh, say anything. We won't send her this episode. What? This yeah, isn't right. recorded and safe for everyone to server or anything. <laughs> it won't be on iHeartRadio app, iTunes, and other podcast services forever. <laughs> uh, publicly. Um, but yeah, that's coming soon. And another thing I wanted to talk about, speaking with video games, mm-hmm. and uh, it's comebacks, I guess you could say, with Destiny S Classic. Mm-hmm. Pokemon Go. I yeah. think it's bought back. It's come back. Can think I so? battle you now? You <laughs> cannot battle me yet. Then it hasn't come back to me yet. Um, but one proof of why it's come back is that so you know how almost two, two weeks ago that the this Pokemon Go Fest in Chicago was a just complete disaster? Yeah. yeah. Well, apparently, in good any press is good press, guys. <laughs> because literally the day after that where they released legendary Pokemons in the raids, they made the highest grossing amount of money since they launched the game. They made over $5.8 million in that one day wow. of people wow. buying stuff. People are like, legendary Pokemon, heck yeah, I'm back in. Wow. And it's funny that we're talking, this is what, the third, fourth week we've talked about Pokemon yeah, Go. You're right. Yeah. And like, it's not like as big Pokemon Go mania as it was last year, but this year it's like, Pokemon Go's still there, still here. It's low still, rumblings, I mean, but it's still I, here. I wouldn't mind yeah. a Zapdos. Not gonna lie. Yeah, well, uh, that's, right now the legendary is uh, Articuno. Oh, okay. I think next, whatever raid session will be Zapdos. So there you mm. go. Yeah, Interesting. Go. All right. All right. Check I out. know nothing about Pokemon. I'm sorry. No, I love he Pokemon. just got it because I get it. <laughs> we, we yeah, Kevin and I are very large influences on. Uh, you really Eric. are in my life. Before you, um, before I asked you, you weren't cool. Yes, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't today's version of cool. This is a little different, it, guys. Thank uh, you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. <laughs> and then, one thing that's actually pretty interesting is that. So you guys know of the new Mario game? I think. Was, yeah. Did any of you guys get to play at E3? I think it was just me and John. Yeah, you Brother John. You, yeah, because you... Brother John. You, I played like three games while I used to wait in line. Mm. Yeah, well, I waited day. almost an hour for it, but it was worth Ooh. it. But <laughs> Super Mario Odyssey comes out in November. No, actually, it comes out in October. Yeah. October, Correct, October. Yeah. October 27th. Yes, same day as Stranger Things, which will be great. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. I like what this. are you going to do first, Hoodie? Play the game or watch I'll it? download the game, watch a couple episodes of Stranger Things, and by the time I finish downloading, I'm like, all right, here we go, Mario. Here we go. Ooh. See, I'm smart. I get it. I'm smart about it. Mm. (laughs) But apparently Super Mario Odyssey just got rated by the SRB board, which is the Electronic Standards and Rating Board. Good job. Um, uh, It's held by the ESA, Electronic Software Association, Mm -hmm. which they're responsible for E3. So, hey, we had fun at your event. You're based in D.C. We like that. We'll meet you up one day. Bring us back. They have this huge wall of just video games that literally is just a projection on the wall. And that one wall is just one video game. Wow. It's like, ooh, you play like Halo or some Mario Kart on that? I want to go play. No, we'll, we'll figure it out this week. We'll That's be like, hey, dope. we like you. We're from, insert Kane Show, insert Crisis on Infinite Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> insert <laughs> iHeart Media. Insert <laughs> iHeart Media. The largest media company in the world. Slash, 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 slash. <laughs> um, but apparently they just rated the game and it got, it's the first Mario game to not be rated E for everyone. Huh. What do you guys think it's rated? Mature. Ooh, no, it's not ready to mature. Mario's Mario's having sex left and right. (laughs) Bro. Snapping next. You know, yeah, right? Oh, man. Blood coming out of the mushrooms. Mario Frisk. Mario's had enough. Mario Frisk. So it is actually rated E10 and plus. E10. Interesting. What? It's because E10 and plus suggests that it contains a greater amount of violence, mild language, crude humor, or suggestive content that everyone can accommodate. I really hope it's suggestive content. So, hey, if you're a nine-year-old and you're trying to play Super Mario Odyssey, too bad. You can't play it. 
Let me see your ID, Allegedly. kid. Oh, oh man. You nine and a half. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Sorry. <laughs> That's funny. What, what, what crew member could be in it? Like, is Mario, like... Well, it's because in the game, there's a city called New Donk City. Oh, is that um, Which is the, the, where the real life people are. New um, Donk or New Dong? New Donk. Oh, oh. Donk. I guess Donk. Donkey Kong. Like, donk, oh. like Dunkirk, but Donk. Gotcha. Oh. Um, but in that level, there are real humans. I think that's the one thing why... Push it up to E10 plus because you can mm. jump on the humans, which is like real violence. Oh, not imaginary violence. Violence. Man, I guess you're right. Mm. Not mushrooms. It's but still imaginary. Who, who has who has like the vertical jump to jump on somebody's head? Yo, don't, I mean, don't tempt nobody because you know we about to get a we whole gonna bunch try of videos. It. We be like, all right, Javi, <laughs> go. Oh, if you got the moon bounces on your sh- on your shoes <laughs> yeah. from back in the day. <laughs> or moon jumps or whatever it was called. Oh, moon shoes? Moon shoes. Moon that's what shoes. it was. That's yes. what helps you with your caps. Those are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mr. Eric V. I have a question about the Nintendo Switch and mm-hmm. Nintendo because you're the Nintendo god. I am. Um, are they going to come out with Star Fox or no? Uh, they haven't announced a Star Fox yet, but they did announce Metroid Prime 4, which comes out either end of 2018 or 2019. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pokemon uh, Core series is coming out mm-hmm. sometime in 2018 as well. Is, is the Madden going to be on the Switch? Madden will not be on the Switch, but you do have NBA 2K18 mm-hmm. in September when that comes out on the Switch. You also have FIFA mm-hmm. on the Switch when that comes out, but. and then you get WWE 2K18 on the Switch when that comes out. Okay. So you're getting there. EA is like, we'll give you FIFA because everyone likes FIFA. Yes. I think that's why, because it's more of a world appe- uh, global appeal. Right. And Nintendo, I think, is a more global yeah. force than anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, like, we'll give them FIFA. Whereas Madden's more US based. I'm like, eh, we'll maybe wait. Yeah. And I mean, after Madden 2010, it really mm. doesn't change. Well, I mean, apparently 2018 is getting in story mode. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, like the FIFA it. route. That's just that's like the career mode or when you build your own player. Come on, yes. Madden. I played Madden at 3 and it's really easy to get interceptions now. So, they, they kind of ban up the defense a little bit. But it's still not the same. I mean, Madden. it's just the NFL. You can't yeah. hit anybody. So, mm-hmm. so it makes sense. It's still the same Madden. Just you can, you can get picks easier now. Yes. Whatever. It. But so Mario has it, so ratings for ESRB. The main ones are E for everyone, mm-hmm. um, which is I guess everyone can play. Then it's E ten and plus, which is only ten and up. Teen, yeah. mm-hmm. teen and up. Mature, seventeen and up. And then you have adults only video games. But video games adult only. Oh, you won a couple of them. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna know why they're adult only games because of the what's titles. Man, what's a Manhunt one? Manhunt two is one. Manhunt. Correct. Um, which is where you literally were in a game, hunting. Uh, people. hunting it was literally like it was a TV show game mm-hmm. where you were forced to kill people. It was running, but game. it was very like it zoomed in when you're like choking someone. So it was I like, like I remember that game. It looked uh, like you were. Cho- I think it was. Uh, they had a, a, a Rockstar game. It was a PC oh, version. Was a Rockstar. Yeah, Rockstar yeah. Take sense. Two. Yeah. Um, so here's some other adult only games. Playboy the Mansion. Oh, I do remember <laughs> Private that. Party. <laughs> <laughs> Private Party. <laughs> yep. Leisure Suit Larry, as we suggest. Frisky Business isn't on there. Actually, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. That is probably the most na- the, known one. I, I was about to say, wasn't there something that the hot, hot coffee? coffee. Yeah. yeah, that's why. That's Before it was. it was mature, and that's so that explain happened. hot coffee, Kevin. Hot coffee was a it was almost a kind of like a um a glitch it was a level a glitch level. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't in the actual game, but it was still in on the on the data disk, and somebody hacked it pretty much to find out how to do it, mm-hmm. and pretty much it, you can have sex on the game mm-hmm. with a prostitute or with wh- whoever somebody was on the game, and you really actually like oh press X to thrust forward, and you actually would press X and. Yeah, it was. Real. What game was this? Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Look it up so on YouTube. The first one, it was in, in recreating L.A. Pretty much. Wait, but I thought in, what was the one where you could pick up the prostitute and drop her off in the car or whatever? That's in any, that's g- any that's Grand Theft Auto game. That's no, but I, the car would actually rock. That was, was the, that that's, it, the that's in any remember. Grand Theft yeah. Auto game. <laughs> no, not in three. I remember when this came out. This was like the biggest thing. That in three, could, it rocked. But in, in this one, like I said, it's not actually in the game. You have to actually crack the game to do it. Oh. Mm-hmm. But it's there. Yeah. And then um, you also have games like All Nude Cyber, <laughs> All Nude Glamour, and then Sim City. Bo- and then <laughs> Body Language. And then the most recent game, at least on this list that I have added in there, is in 2015. It's Eden Plus and Mosaic, which has nudity, strong language, and strong sexual content. Yeah. And apparently it's a Japanese only game. So Yeah. They get a little freaky over there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Say it. But hey But now that we've talked about ratings and all that good stuff. Yep. And something that sells ratings and sort of sells the bane of every every gamer's existence. Mm-hmm. GameStop. Uh. We're back at it again. Uh. <laughs> so sad news if you're a GameStop employee. But apparently on Thanksgiving, you're actually going to be working on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. 
Sorry to tell you that, but that's the fact. So apparently, I think it was Tuesday, no, Monday, breaking news was that in one of the GameStop uh, conference calls between all of the upper executives, Mm -hmm. they announced that the policy this year is that we will be open on Thanksgiving so that way we can better give our product to the consumer. All day or? They haven't announced the hours yet, but probably expect it as soon as Best Buy, Walmart, and Target open. They'll probably be probably like five or six. Black Friday or Thanksgiving? On Thanksgiving Day Day for Black Friday. So they'll probably open up late in the afternoon, like everyone else. Five o'clock, six o'clock. So Mm -hmm. everyone get those Black Friday deals Mm -hmm. or whatever it's called. So what I want to do, and if you didn't know, Kevin, our good friend Kevin here, he actually worked at a retailer that sells lots of video games and technology known as what? Kevin? Big Blue Box was Best Buy. Um, yes. I worked at Toys R Us in the R Zone for five years. And I was going to get to you, but oh. you were, so, geez. So, <laughs> so impatient. Kevin gets named first because he's been here the longest. <laughs> then you get Fine. named. That's the impatient guest. <laughs> well, then, never mind. Now man. you know Eric worked at Toys R Us. And Javi, <laughs> Javi you didn't work, haven't worked at a retail store, have you? Yes, I have worked at Not like a video game retail what, store. What uh, have you worked at? I've worked at a uh, bicycle store. Uh, oh, bicycle that store. they're booming on Black Friday. <laughs> yeah, they? <laughs> and I worked at Staples. Bad day we're moving on Black Friday. Yeah, in the copy and print center. Oh, wow. That copy and print center on Black you Friday, so though. Oh, my gosh. You poor Yo, soul. the number of wedding invitations I've done. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I want to give them your no. two guys' perspectives on this. It's good that we have Eric here on if that's a – do you in – Enjoy working on Black Friday and Thursday, and I guess now the Thursday, or do you think that's a dumb idea? There's a popular meme that says, like, working on Black Friday is fine, but it's like, your shoes are on fire, mm-hmm. and the building's on fire, everybody's on fire, but you're fine. And that's what working on Black Friday is. It's just, it's just horrible. Like, I can't even, I, the wor- worst I want to say to explain it, I can't say on this podcast. True. Mm-hmm. But it's literally the worst ex- You We don't have as much censorship as other things do. So. Yeah, but I, I, I Best Buy actually buys ad time on our oh. on our lovely stations here, so I can't say what I want to say about it. Mm. But working on Black Friday in any retail, whether it's mostly electronics, electronic retail is horrible because people just have no patience. Mm. They don't get that these things that you're buying that are if it's a twenty dollar TV. We only have ten of them, so if you don't get it, if you're number you eleven, get it, you don't get it. Oh, I'm sorry, you were number eleven. What do you want me to tell you? <laughs> then did you get paid better on Black Friday? No, and Thanksgiving. Same rate. Mm. You just work longer than hours. Mm. So like you, you were you were actually like if you called out on Black Friday you get fired. Mm. If you were work, work on Black Friday you get fired. But you were required to work at least twelve hour shift on Black Friday. Mm. Like I worked one Black Friday from two AM to three PM. Woo. Yeah. And then, so you haven't worked on Thanksgiving because I think the Thanksgiving policies sort of nah, happened when you left. Best Buy. Yeah. yeah, I saw that coming. And I said, "I'm out." <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> and then Eric, so what, have you? Have you worked on Black Friday or Thanksgiving like that? So in the five years that I worked at Toys R Us, mm-hmm. I did three Black Fridays. Ooh. The first one, I will say, I had Kevin's mentality. Mm. The next two, I ran that bitch so I could do whatever I wanted. <laughs> The only problem was I had to get up early, and I got a time and a half on Black on Black Friday. We got nothing. We just got wow. our basic wage. Oh, we got time and a half because yeah. we had to be in before five because that's when the store opened. Right. But I had so much fun watching people act like heathens, <laughs> and act like animals, and be like, "I need this Polly Pocket or something," and I'm just sitting there with my happy smile on my face, like, "And I have to ring you up, so I'm gonna take my sweet ass time. <laughs> I don't really care." That's that sounds about right. I just I thought it was great. I thought mm. well, it's one of those experiences where like I've I've been that early morning shopper and then I've been on the other end as the employee. It's hilarious. I'd rather be there as an employee watching people yeah. act like yeah. children mm. than acting yeah. like a child. I remember grown <laughs> adults acting like just such immature jackasses. Sorry, Cody. I know you don't like when I get aggressive. It's all good. <laughs> but you get one. You get one. <laughs> you get one <laughs> but yeah, I had the best time ever because I literally was like. I'm going to just sit here and watch this. I remember I was at Best Buy for five years. On my third Black Friday, we had to call the cops because oh, somebody was upset nice. that we, we ran out of some laptop, Yeah, and yeah. he was really outside with his gun on his hip waiting for the manager to come out. <laughs> Black Friday is real. I would have loved to talk to and that so, guy. Have I you had to work on like Christmas Eve, Christmas um, in that aspect? Was re- yes. Christmas Eve was li- actually like – Christmas Eve, I actually felt bad because like – I felt would feel bad because like you'd see that like parent yeah. or or mom yeah. run in trying to get that last minute gift for their kid and, and if out. we didn't have it mm. there was a then you'd be like oh we don't have it and like you'd feel bad and I'd actually like try to help people yeah I was the same but way. 
on Black Friday, I would just die <laughs> laughing. It's over there. Go it's get it. It's, 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 it's over there. I would just stand there in my intimidating face and just be angry. So no one would talk to me as I'm sitting here absorbing all, all of, of this, this. Mm. which to me was a hilarious situation. Mm. Yeah, Christmas Eve, I would always try to help like that, that one dad. It's like, yeah. oh, I forgot that Johnny needed one of the scooter. I'm like, well, yeah. come on. And then also, too, Christmas Eve, at least back in the day, the Russ would close early. Yeah, 6 o'clock. And so you'd get the Russ. The Russ, that's the what we used to call it. And I I think there was one time this one guy, you just see him trucking. <laughs> He's like, I got to get in there before it closed. And we let him in, and we were like, yeah, go ahead, do your thing, whatever. But, like, that's when I – Christmas Eve, I felt bad for people, and I wanted to help mm. out. But Thanksgiving. You're on your own. Because you're, yeah. you, you know what? You're planning to go do this. Mm, like, yeah. you want to be here on Black Friday – I'm gonna watch you fall on your face and <laughs> laugh at you. You know, like I don't care. Mm, Karma, I love it. It's great. Mm, I, I think for GameStop, it's they're just trying to get more money because everyone's going to Best Buy and Target. Yeah, right. Isn't game, then, didn't they close a bunch of GameStop so stores? Their, their old policy for GameStop used to be their and their their policy is their family first. They mm -hmm. think about you know their gamers, employees, and right. all that. Right. Um, so they closed on Thanksgiving. I think it was two years ago. Um, where everyone else was opening up because they wanted their employees to rest. But they were losing so much money because you could go to Target or Best Buy to get your video game, probably for dirt cheap, and so yeah. I didn't wait to GameStop on Black yeah. Friday. Yeah. Right. They're just doing that to catch up with the competition. I mean, why they're, not? They're also expanding their inventory, too. Some GameStops have like a lot of collectibles. Now. Oh, yeah, they have Funko galore. If you need a Funko, yeah. just go, <laughs> go yeah. to GameStop now. You, mean, you can buy an iPad from GameStop. Mm. GameStop. Well, because I, I, <laughs> trade, I traded yeah. a bunch of games, and I was like, this is like hot topic now. With video <laughs> games. Huh. Are the iPads used or new? They're used. Used, yeah. Mm. Yeah. You can you can buy a lot of stuff. I need something for the kid, man. For the Come kid. On, it's true. Me when we go on trip. <laughs> Here we go. It's true. But now that we've talked about GameStop, it's time for a little little corner that Javi likes to go to. What up? <laughs> I, I think that's the noise we make for it. <laughs> and it's gonna be temporary. It's noise. because Javi goes there all the time when we do the DC check-in. It's time for the Anime Corner. Yes. Ooh, so I think the biggest news that uh, happened this week was that Sony has acquired Funimation. Yeah. And man. as far as like the anime world goes, that's some pretty big news. Yes. As the novice in the anime world, yes. Mr. Eric V, what the hell is Funimation? So Funimation is uh, is a company that oh. does a lot of dubbing. A company. <laughs> is a company that distributes and does a lot of uh, marketing, merchandising, and dubbing for animes when they come from Japan. It's one of the largest U.S. ones. Yeah, and mm. they come so like they come from like individual studios, but then like Funimation is the biggest uh -huh. one. Picks it, dubs it, and distributes it. So they just got paid from Sony, basically. Yeah, they were worth about $150 million, and Sony bought a 95% stake in them. Jeez. Wow. Yeah, and so just to give you an idea of what's in Fun like what's under the Funimation mm -hmm. umbrella, that includes any Dragon, anything Dragon Ball Z, you're looking oh. at Cowboy Bebop, anything mm -hmm. One Piece, My Hero Academia, M Attack on Titan, mm -hmm. and like some of these are newer animes, like anything My Hero Academia. Yeah. Huh? Anything on tattoo, uh, Tatooine. Yeah, exactly. Not Tatooine, Tatooine. <laughs> Dang it, Toonami. Dang it, Toonami. <laughs> Too yeah, much Star tsunami. Wars in my head. <laughs> tsunami, yeah. But a lot of that is under like the Funimation, and a lot of even older animes are on there. So as far as like that goes, here's sort of like what my bottom lines are, because mm. I have a lot of mixed feelings about this. So the first thing is that Sony Pictures Television is the biggest TV uh, producer and distributor in the country. Mm-hmm. They have Shark Tank, things like Breaking oh. Bad, oh. Seinfeld, oh. a lot of things like that. They also own Crackle, Crackle. Uh, which is like that streaming service. You just curse at me? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> it, uh, it's a streaming service which has animes on it. Okay. Now, my biggest concern is that Sony is going to start pulling a lot of their, uh, not Sony, I mean Funimation will have to pull their uh, animes from other streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, and things like that, and put them specifically on Crackle, like a streaming like streaming service specifically. Okay. Why wouldn't they just keep it on Netflix? I mean, you're still paying. You're still going to get the well, payment from them. Sort of, but like having like in -house. exclusive, like yeah, in-house in exclusive content. It's sort of like when... I don't. I can't think of anything in particular, but like a Netflix. Stranger Things. Yeah, Stranger Things is specifically Netflix. Right. So you're not gonna catch it on Hulu, but like imagine if, like it was. Oh, actually, kind of like um, you, you know, because 
Justice League and Young Justice are leaving exactly. Netflix on August 1st because DC TV is having their own. Yeah, they, so they're Streaming pulling site. all the. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So that's taking this content away, and Crackle is Rest not great. <laughs> Uh, it's not a great streaming mm-hmm. service at all, and has. I was about to say, I've never heard of this crackle you speak of. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. So Funimation, you really will only see it at the end of an episode mm-hmm. where it goes Funimation. Yeah. You're like, oh, uh. exactly. I like crackle. A very underrated candy bar. <laughs> 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 and then Javi, you said you had one more story about Pokemon this time. I did. Uh, so Pokemon is getting. You remember when we talked about the new Pokemon movie uh, that was released in Japan about a few weeks ago? Yeah. Well, now it's getting an international release. No. Really? In November from for Fathom Events on November 5th and 6th. Now, this is the new uh, Pokemon movie where they replaced Brock and Misty. Dang it. Boo. And I'm still upset about that. So I will personally still go see this movie. Yeah, it's a Fathom angry. event. It's a once in a lifetime. Yeah, Not so really. I'm still going to go see it Spy and be angry about it. But, yeah, that's, that's getting an international release in November. Mm-hmm. And then you said there was like... Pikachu talks in it or something? Yep. There uh, <laughs> apparently that Last this is the first time in the series of Pokemon where Pikachu says more than just Pika Pika or Pikachu. <laughs> he actually speaks. Apparently Ooh. the scene goes is that somewhere Ooh. along the line. What up, Ash? <laughs> <laughs> Ash dies. Or get, oh, excuse me. For the twentieth time. Yeah, for like the twentieth time, Ash dies and is like in the afterworld type scenario, and sees Pikachu, and Pikachu apparently has some words for him. Mm. I haven't. It's like <laughs> I don't know what those words Stop are. Stop using me on the Pokemon <laughs> battles. Let me take a break. I'm tired. It's like a Bible verse, Bruh. <laughs> it spits like fire bar. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Well, yeah. So that's that's pretty much the big stuff. We're, we're excited but sad at the same time with the Pokemon movie. Yeah, we're excited mm-hmm. but sad. And that was the animation, Javi's anime corner. Bang bang. He's been, come out of the corner now, Javi. <laughs> I can. Woo woo. <laughs> so we have a lot of TV shows we're all watching now. Uh huh. And we have a lot of check-in thingies going on now. Oh, the check-in? What? Oh, we're not there yet. You wait. Oh, you I wait. Got excited. Oh, I gotta go back to the corner. <laughs> 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 but. Javi, since you're here, and which Kevin's pretty much in the corner, we put him in the corner because he doesn't yeah. know. He didn't know what a Funimation is, essentially. Oh, I know Dragon Ball Z. Yep. That's what I know. True. <laughs> Rick and Morty finally premiered. Yo, Rick and Morty is back. What would love it, Doug? I'm so annoyed with you in this Rick and Morty thing. It's so good. And you know what's funny? I started it for Javi. Yeah, I you started really, it really. Up. I am the instrumenter of making people watch stuff and liking it. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's true with these two. You really pushed me over the edge. And I was just like, all right, I'll watch it. Eventually, we'll be with Kevin once he watches it. But, Loved Javi, how did you feel about Rick and Morty? I loved it. This episode was Mad Max themed. Was Mad Max themed, mm-hmm. and I was here for it. It was it was fun. It was interesting to see kind of how uh, are we like, are spoilers like a yeah, yeah. I mean mild spoilers. Mild it's spoilers. a TV episode. So. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting to see the new dynamic between like Rick and, and the, the family and, dynamic. Yeah, the family yeah. dynamic is mm. yeah, a better way to say it. Mm. Um, and I'm interested to see, but it was it was a great episode. Yeah. It's good to have it back. It sinks it's 11:30 because your boy can't watch it live because I have a <laughs> <Yeah>. job. <laughs> um, yeah. But the cool thing is, is that as a promotional thing, McDonald's actually released the Szechuan sauce. They did um, in like a huge like gallon jug. They gave it to Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon, who are the, the creators, creators of the show. And uh, Justin Roiland's the uh, voice actor. Too. Yeah, and Justin Roiland voices pretty much it's every the character. Show. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, they're giving it away for some for like several hundred people. So I'm like, can we get some Szechuan sauce, yo? <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what it tastes like, but I want to know, but I don't. Did you, Kevin and Eric? Did you guys ever have just one sauce? I'm not. I don't no. think so. Did you oh, get that promotion? I was boring. I was always just plain nuggets. Yeah, I want no sauce. I did honey on my nuggets. Like normal honey or honey yeah. mustard? No, no, normal honey. What? Try, mm. try mm. honey on your nuggets. It tastes delicious. Huh. All right, yeah. interesting. Well, I believe you. Yeah. So Rick and Morty's on Sundays, 11:30. But apparently, uh. It goes on Hulu like a week after or something. So, hey, yeah. there you go. There I'm you go. Hulu soon, so I'll, I'll get into it. I could <laughs> not promise. encourage that more. It's a good, good choice. Good choice. Good choice. <laughs> and now, Kevin, I leave the decision to you. Do we want to end with some superheroes or some swords? <sighs> Essentially, what are we going to next? Is it, uh, <laughs> is it uh, a certain time? I think we should check in then to, to the, go to the hotel. Yeah, I think it's time it's to check right in. across uh, the studio. Uh, I think going it's time to check in. Guess what, everybody? <laughs> it's back. It's time for the DC check in. 
Kevin! Woo-hoo! Oh, man. My. Kevin and I haven't done this in like six weeks. Uh, oh, oh, darn. Oh, darn. Is oh, this like, your alone time or something? Yeah. I know, right? Oh. Yeah, so everybody, everybody clump but up. we Get had a myself. little bit of DC news yesterday with the Television Critics Association presentation, <laughs> uh, which is essentially where the CW and a bunch of TV stations present, hey, this is what's happening on our TV show. Mm-hmm. You should like it. And you get a lot more details about it. So, Kevin, and Kevin and I kind of followed it a lot last night, and we'll let you two know so you guys can get ready for the new season so Javi can finally catch up. <laughs> right, Javi? Yeah. Hey, Alex watches the shows now. We're proud of Alex. You yeah. need to catch up. I'm working on it. Dude, <laughs> watch The Flash. <laughs> if anything, watch The Flash. Yeah, and then Legends. All right. Oh, yeah, Legends is very fun. And then Arrow. But you need to watch Arrow for the kid, all the other two. Yeah. And then well, you need to watch Supergirl, too. No, you can watch. And just I get mean, ready for Black Lightning in January. <laughs> wow, I think I'll, just, I'll, I'll do that last Watch one. it all. <laughs> I watched all of Arrow to catch up. Watch just the first three seasons of Arrow. Uh, and then catch this up. last season. That was and this one. last season, and you'll be caught up. Yes. Okay. So we learned, Kevin, that the crossovers. <laughs> He's coming. They're coming back. He's coming. The fourth crossover now, right? Yeah, it's be the fourth the one. The fourth crossover is finally happening. It all started when Air, uh, the Flash was on a Green Arrow, and then. Oh, but that yeah. was so long ago! Good, wow. Good times. Yeah. Good times. He wasn't even the Flash yet. He was just <laughs> no. Barry. He was just Barry. It's Barry Allen right there. Barry. But the crossover dates will be on November 27th and the 28th. And Kevin, as we know, Arrow's on Thursdays now at 9 p.m. Yeah, which is gonna be weird. It's weird because it's like Wednesday, we get a rest period, and then yeah, it's back like, into Thursday. Uh, if I catch a breath, and then we're all of a sudden back into drama. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the weekend of Thanksgiving, though, it's not. The week before Thanksgiving, or yeah, week yeah. after Thanksgiving. Yeah, I thought it was the week after Yes. Thanksgiving. So, what's going to happen with the crossovers this year is that Supergirl is on Monday, and it's actually going to be part of the crossovers this time, yes. and not just the last mm-hmm. 10 minutes, which kind of sucked last oh, year. So, 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 <laughs> the, the interesting thing is that Arrow, that week only, will... Sh- premiere its episode on a Monday after Supergirl. That's going to be so weird watching Arrow on a Monday. Mm-hmm. You're like, wow. wait, what? I need to go to sleep Wait, at so Arrow's going to premiere Monday mm-hmm. after Supergirl. Yes, the crossover yes. episode. Okay. So, what they're doing, and then, as we know, Flash and Legends are on Tuesdays now. Those will be normal time yeah. with their crossover episodes. So, what they're going for is two nights of two-hour... I guess shows. Eight to ten. Pretty much. So, two, Supergirl two, will two be right into Arrow. <laughs> then Arrow will sort of Cliff hanging off the Flash, and Flash will lead right into Legends tomorrow, yeah. which is great storytelling. Yeah, mm-hmm. it worked last year. I remember when Arrow was in space, mm-hmm. and you thought they were almost lost, and here comes Legends tomorrow. I was like, yeah, yes, it's the Legends. But I think it's a better <laughs> thing because instead of having to be there four nights, you're like two nights. Like, all right, good, <sighs> that was good. You I got think my fix. We see Barry return to Flash before the crossover. Ooh, no. I'm gonna call it now. I'm now. still in the thought process that he's not coming back till December. Yeah, I'm agree with you. Mid season. What if this is how to get Barry back? Ooh. No. Ooh. Maybe. Then who's going to go in the Speed Force? We hey, still don't know. Speed we still don't know. <laughs> exactly. Come on. Zoom. So maybe December or crossover now is the, the potential of that. But also we got some news on Legends of Tomorrow. Um, really, we got a lot of news, but Legends is kind of the big one from yeah. the individual shows. So, Kevin, what's happening with Legends? Uh, they're going to have a new villain this year, uh, one, one large primate. Oh, yes. That's the king of uh, a lot of other primates. Has two Ds in his name. It can control you with your mind. Oh. Uh, Gorilla Grodd. Grodd. <laughs> Wait, he's going to be the villain of Legends? So he will be a, a villain, villain of, of Legends of Tomorrow. That's genius. So we know that Damien Dark is coming back. Again. Which yes. is good, because I think um, Neil McDon- McDonough. He's an amazing actor. He's great. He needs to be in there, because he's Damian good at Dark. Damien Dark. Because it's funny, because you watch interviews with him, he's such a nice guy, mm-hmm. and then you just hate him on TV. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Walking Tall, he was actually a bad guy. We, uh, uh, was, uh, yeah, we, and he's Dumb Dumb Dugan in Captain America. Oh, yeah, he was awesome in that, too. So he's in the Marvel Universe, too. Mm-hmm. But we actually saw him at Walker Stalker Con. Yeah. And he was a really nice guy. He FaceTimed his uh, his kid to see the whole panel. Oh, it was like, oh, awesome. his yeah. first big panel of the year as Damien Dark. I was like, ah, that's cool. That's cute. Um, but yeah, so apparently the overarching villain they haven't announced yet. But they're gonna say it in the first episode is gonna be like the the boss of Damien Dark and Gorilla Grodd. Yeah, uh, apparently it's, it's a non-human entity. Is yes, what it's gonna be sort of like Arrow did with Damien Dark, but a little, a little more spiritual and mystical. It was kind of what cool. is Parallax? Ooh, they won't do that. That's a Green Lantern. Bring, me mm-hmm. Legend mm-hmm. Yeah, bring it to Legends. It'll do <laughs> well. Um, they also announced that the Arrowverse, as of right now, isn't going to go. Arrowverse is all four of those shows and Black Lightning. Oh, not Black Lightning. Not Black Lightning, yeah. Um, yeah. Won't be doing anything with Wonder Woman because Wonder Woman did so well, so they'll need to now. Yeah, I guess so. Um, 
but also that the Legends of Tomorrow hero, the new hero, which we, I think, talked about maybe a month ago, which we knew her name was Isis, which would have been great for the hashtag whenever you're like, oh, hashtag, you know, is on the episode. Can't wait. They changed her name. Uh, In the comics, she's Isis. Now she's known as Zari. That's fine. Okay. I understand that. Hashtag Zari. Hashtag Zari, not Zari. On, on a, uh, <laughs> I kind of like that. If you watch uh, the TV show Archer, his spider used to be called Isis, and then he had a whole season why he had to change the name from Isis to something else. Mm, that's so. incredible. <laughs> Isis is a bad word. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what happened. That was your DC check-in. Check. Out. And now, as you know, it's the summer. Yes. And we finally had the meeting we've all been waiting for seven seasons. Or is it, or is it summer? Or is it summer? Or is it winter? Because we know winter is here. And because it's time for Watch, Watch the, the Throne. Watch the yeah. Throne. What's good? They, yes. they do something with that now. It's Jake. That's what yeah. happens. It's your boy. Oh, it's your boy. <laughs> it's your boy. <laughs> yeah, giant. Someone needs to be Kanye West in this, too, because he was on that album, too. Uh, yeah, that's true. He was. That's <laughs> not, not a good album. album. Yeah, it was a great album. album. Great but, album. guys, Bumps. what happened? What did you like about Game of Thrones? Oh. All right, we had a lot of we had a lot. Wait, how friend. deep can we get into this? Are we doing spoilers? So we or do. We... So as of this point, why we do watch the Thrones at the end is because if you want to leave, hey, it's all good. We still love you at Infinite Underscore Pods. You'll miss out on the secret thing we're going to do next week. Mm-hmm. So you might just have to skip that fifteen. Hit that fifteen. <laughs> the fifteen it's 30 skip. Actually, now. Oh, it's thirty now. Yeah. Hit that thir- thirty skip. But we kind of do spoilers a little bit because okay. who doesn't watch Game of Thrones? Because I thought Thrones the di- episode three was epic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great. It was slow, and there was a lot of dialogue. It wasn't a lot of action. I'm a little upset that they didn't uh, get more in depth in the attacking of Castle Rock uh-huh. and the attacking of the Tyrells, because those probably would have been epic battle scenes. But they also probably cost an arm and a leg. Yeah, because it would have been great to really see the Unsullies go at it. Which means that we are definitely getting a good battle, battle. soon. Battle it's, soon. It's just like death. So Game of Thrones, mm-hmm. how it works is. If no character dies mm-hmm. on screen, you're going to see a very brutal and gruesome death in the next episode. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, because they set it up with the dragons flying. Mm-hmm. You think, you yeah. think that's going to happen? Um, I, I'm excited. I thought it was great. I loved when uh, What's Her Face was talking to One Handy. Lady Elena. One Handy Jamie. Lady, 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 Lady Tyrell. Ah! Olena Lady, Tyrell. Lady, Lady yeah, Tyrell. And I think that was. She and, went out like a G. Epic so, yeah. Scene. So, we epic know that scene. Lady Tyrell died. Um, she, Jamie gave her poison so she didn't have like gruesome deaths. Mm-hmm. But she didn't really die in the episode, but she's dead. Yeah. Um, you just assume she is. But um, she admitted that she killed or plotted mm-hmm. to kill Joffrey finally. I want her to know that I did it. And it was like, whoo, girl. <laughs> she literally went, uh, like, there's this meme of someone, like, going down in the water in their boat sinking, and they go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me and Baby are, are contemplating this. The reason why Joffrey died was that was the, she wanted her granddaughter to marry Joffrey, right? But he didn't because he married Stark. Isn't that, is that why she killed him? No. So no. they killed him. Because he was a horrible, horrible you person. You sure? Yeah. yeah. Now, she also, like, if we want to, like, look at that, she knew that Tomlin was the nicer one of the Tommen. two. To- uh, Tomlin? Two, two M's. Oh, Tomlin, not yeah. Tomlin. Who's Tomlin? Mike I Tomlin. thought it was that, oh, that she wanted her granddaughter to marry the Lannister. So they married, and it's known as the purple wedding because the red wedding was where oh, he, mm-hmm. and he also turns purple. <laughs> um, oh, that, he does turn purple. Um, but <laughs> there is the, it, no one, it's not really decisive, but it's that. So that way, Marjorie would have been the only queen, but then the Lannister's like, you're going to marry Tommen. Yeah. So. Mm. Other part of the episode, though, when it goes, you stand in the presence of Daenerys Stormborn of House Targaryen, rightful heir to the Iron Throne, rightful queen of the Handles and the First Men, oh my protector oh, yeah. of the he, Seven Kingdoms, mother of dragons, oh, Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea, oh, the Unburnt, and the Breaker of Chains. I'm Jon Snow. You yet? Because it's like 30 <laughs> names. I know, right? Yo, I'm Jon Snow. This card is huge. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, this is John. This is John. So King of the North. 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 (laughs) This is my man's right here. It was like perfect British dry humor and wit. It was just awesome. (laughs) Well, he had like a pause. He was like, "This is John Snow." King of the North. Yeah. Like, I, got, no, no. <laughs> I got I got nothing. <laughs> um, Yo, she almost messed that up though. She, How? She almost messed that up trying to make him take that knee. She almost lost Jon Snow as an ally, and y'all can't even tell me otherwise. But Jon was right. He was like, listen, 
ain't gonna be no need to bend if we don't stop these white walkers. Yeah, but no one <laughs> believes him. That's the problem. I can't. I have the perfect meme for this, which I have to post on the uh, yeah, <laughs> infinite, at infinite underscore pods. Infinite underscore pods. Yeah, but it's like someone sitting there. It's like I told you so. Now see what happened. And what happened? What I told you earlier? Exactly this. Mm. Now I told you so. That's gonna be Jon Snow in like two episodes. He's like, I told you what would happen, and now this has happened. Well, do you think they're gonna arrive in this episode, this season, or do you think this is gonna be next season? Oh, they, no. Something is. They're going to arrive to the point where everyone's gonna have to start. Shifting their focus. I have, I have, I have a um, confession to make. Something's gonna happen. This is my confession. I've Yo, read that's season seven spoilers. I know what's gonna happen. Don't. You actually read the scripts that were leaked on HBO. The only no, not those. Something uh. other, other spoilers. The only reason I tend to believe them is because they were posted three months ago, and things they say will three happen already happened. Is it the link you sent me the other day? Yes. I'm not reading that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. I don't even know if I want to read that because I just like theorizing right now. But it's gonna really. be good though. But wait, okay. So <laughs> am I close though? Yes. Ah! How <laughs> bad do you think Cersei's gonna get it? And do you think that the what's her face, the snake, the the Dornish queen is gonna save her daughter? No, no she's not done. a chance. No, she's done. Oh, she's done. Oh, she's the, the Dorns are done. The Dorns are done. She's Dorns done. Yeah. I wish they would have the mountain squish both their heads, though. My 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 question right now is: I wonder if I don't think Peter Bailey just makes it out of this season. Littlefinger? I, no. no, I don't think he does either. Oh hell no! I don't Jon Snow gonna come back and cut his head right off. I don't think no, it'll be Jon Snow. It's gonna be Arya. Bet, bet. Crisis predict. No, Javi predicts. <laughs> <laughs> Javi predicts that's gonna be Arya. I mean, yeah. I wow, that's a little violent. <laughs> Are you a little upset though that that Arya and Jon Snow didn't cross each other's paths? I'm furious because. We got well, he was in the and boat. Brand and Brand ain't nothing. I'm Brand. I'm <laughs> hey, I'm Brand. Uh, Man, I'm sorry about your your, your <laughs> sexual attack. Yeah, right. <laughs> that was so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> so awkward. I, like, I saw it though. Yeah, yeah. He, he was also like, you look, look beautiful. You look pretty in your dress. <laughs> you look beautiful. <laughs> uh, also, he's like, come on. He's like, yeah, I'm I'm the three eyed raven. <laughs> it's a little complicated. Well, can you like break it down? I'm it's, the three eyed raven. It's, it's, he's it's like, where's John? Let me talk to him. About what? Nothing. I don't need to talk to him. You don't care about I'm telling yo, yo, John, he, I'm saying, just theorizing, if he and Daenerys are going to be a thing, he got to do it now, because once he gets back, he going to get some information dropped on him. Well, That's not going to be Tar pretty. Targaryens usually do inbreed, so yeah, it's, I know. it's not... Too, it's not far fetched, yeah. but like... Yeah, we, are, we, and we, and we have a, the main story of the show started with a sister and a brother. Yeah, it did. <laughs> this is the story How of a brother. How are children not like, you know... Have four heads and ten fingers on each it's hand. It's a fictional thing, Kevin. Okay, yeah, it's real. That's why, buddy. <laughs> I was just curious. About that. <laughs> Wait, so you really think that Daenerys and John are gonna get together? Yes. No. 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 Maybe. Kevin I, knows, and I don't want to well, know. I know, right? I don't. I don't. <laughs> I, I've read it, but I think. Clap seven times consecutively <laughs> in a very fast pace. I think <laughs> they'll get yes. together, but we're not getting a Disney happily ever after, and then they were king and queen forever ending. I think. You know, damn you! No, I don't, season seven, season eight hasn't even been started filming yet, so we don't know how it's going to end. The, um, the, now I did read that the final episode has been written of season eight. eight yeah, of yeah, the I, series. I would, yeah. I would hope so. But I are don't, you mad that it's going to end? No, because I'm I'm tired of like, I like things to end have a have an ending. Okay. I hope it just ends on a high note, like like it no, ends. No, no happy ending. Did you watch Sopranos? <laughs> Come on, Excuse HBO me. is great at just making things end, and you're like, wait. What else? Entourage <laughs> just ended. The Wire Sopranos had an okay ending. Just ended, huh? The Wire had an okay ending. I'll, I'll never watch that, so don't 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 ask me about that. Mm. Like, that oh. Breaking Bad had a good ending. That, I'm saying HBO. Oh, okay. like, that's their yeah, thing. That's, that's their like. That's the stick. That's their shtick. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But are you guys excited? Next week we're gonna get dragon fights. Dra Daenerys is gonna take the fight to the Lannisters, hopefully. As long as she don't go out trying to fight Euron by herself. Mm. I think she should have done it. I don't think so. There's three dragons. Well, so here's the thing. So <laughs> I, th I think it was in this episode where Lady Tyrell was, or maybe it was the first episode, she gave Danny advice to not listen to clever men, but yeah. to be the, the dragon she's supposed to be. Yeah. We In the episode, they showed her on a dragon. I think mm -hmm. that's her realizing after Lady Tyrell died, and you stop listening to Tyrion. Yeah. You're like, I got dragons. Let's, let's wreck some fools. Yeah, but Tyrion's plan would have worked. Tyrion's plan would have worked. He's just being outwitted. Huh? He is being outwitted, and he knows yeah. that his sister hates him so much that yeah. she's like, you're going to come at me, and you're going to come at me hard, so let me be ready for you. That's what she how, said to Jamie, I wonder how, how her vision shifts now that she knows that it wasn't Tyrion. She, she still thinks Tyrion killed Joffrey, not Lady Tyrell. Oh, yeah. So I wonder how she reacts to that news. 
Ooh, that's true. Mm. Right about that. But she's always had like a sore spot for Tyrion. Like she has just always yeah, not. She believes liked that, him. that, she, that um, he killed her, their mother. Yeah. So, yeah, because Where's Gendry? <laughs> Yo, Gendry. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be him at the beginning of the episode when they're pulling that boat in, but then it was Jon Snow and I'm like, I'm a little let down. Also also a shot of the of the trailer for next episode of Arya looking at Winterfell, so she's coming back next Where's episode. Where's Gendry? <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> I want Do Gendry want, and I want I, they the can, Game Bowl. They cannot end this series. I know I'm like a Gendry like prophet. It's like Gendry's <laughs> gonna come back. You're a Gendry stand. Gendry stand. Gendry 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 so Gendry was uh is the one one illegitimate son of Robert Baratheon, so he's the only one that has the claim to the Iron Throne. Wait, isn't legally. he with what's her face? No, no remember he uh, he was with Arya, and then uh, Stannis Baratheon had captured him, uh-huh. but then uh, ooh, was it Davos? Sir Davos released him and made him go on a boat, and he started paddling. So as soon as they started introducing boats, I was like, oh, here we go, Gendry. I but hope it's not. still not yet. Right. Gen- Gendry die hard till the end. If they don't address that and when the, s- the series ends, oh, people will riot in the streets <laughs> for Gendry. And also, we got, oh, I want to know what's going to happen to the cast Paul Dagger. That's been. Oh, that too. Oh, they teased that in the, new, in the next episode. Wait, yeah. what? The cast of what? Go ahead, uh-huh. Tell them tell what cast Paul Dagger is. So, cast Paul Dagger, long story short, is back when uh, in the first season. Remember, Bran had a, an assassin try to take his life. Yeah, that was the dagger that the assassin tried to use. It ended up in the hands of Lady uh, of Lady Stark, and she took that to Littlefinger. So that is in Littlefinger's possession. That's also Valyrian steel, but that's a whole other story. Now there's speculation that that is going to end up in the hands of someone else, and the only way that's going to end up in those hands is that if Littlefinger dies. Mm. Right? That yep. covered all? If, if, Littlefinger <laughs> dies, no, no, if Littlefinger dies, it's going to be uh, Sansa that's going to kill her, not Arya. Nah, Sansa's not going to kill him. Or La Why Maria. not? Or La Maria. Maybe she comes back, saves the day. Yo. yo first off. Why wouldn't Sansa <laughs> kill him? Because uh, as much as she hates him, yeah. I think she sees the value in keeping him around. But she already saved him in the in the Battle of the Bastards. What more do they need for him? I don't know. Now I'm that they've Sansa. got the King of the North. The King North of the North. Is... King of the North. <laughs> Every time we say King of the North, that's going to be the North. sound effect. But I'm saying, like, they, nah, she's going to kill him. She's going to get pissed. Nah, she ain't going to kill him. She's Bet. fiery redhead, dog. Bet. She's going to be Hey, in she's trouble. Dark Phoenix. She's going to become Dark Phoenix. Don't do that to me. That would be awesome. That have, uh, that Don't episode. do that She turns into Dark Phoenix and kills all of everybody. <laughs> I'm queen now. We got the three-eyed raven and Dark Phoenix. Really, Kev? Come on. <laughs> That'd be it's great. a bird show. It's a bird show. It's a bird show. <laughs> <laughs> the show is actually about birds. It's not about dragons. Birds. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it is anyway. Uh-huh. And then have we talked about, I think we talked about the theory that the whole, I think I think it was like when it first premiered that the whole show is just from Sam's perspective. Yes. I think they keep they keep throwing hints at like Sam's, Sam's writing, writing this book, book. Yeah. Called Game of Thrones. He's George R. R. Martin. Sam... Sam in t- like is in the internship Tarly. at the <laughs> the Tarly. He's at his uh, <laughs> Maester internship. How do you write this book? So and this is for Eric and for you who were like I what didn't really get that. Yeah. So a couple weeks ago we said that um, he's in a ma- Maester and Maesters write books. They write down the history, yeah. Uh, yeah. sort of unbiased history of what happens in in, in the mm-hmm. show or Westeros. Um, and so he, right now in the last episode the. Professor Slughorn from Hogwarts, because uh, <laughs> I don't know the actor's name, uh, huh? his cameo in Game of Thrones, every British actor's in it, um, he said, here, Samuel, you have to rewrite all these scrolls uh, that are all like withered away. Uh-huh. So he's going to write them all, and he's going to put them probably in one book. But then he's going to write his history of Westeros, which is why maybe Jon Snow's the hero of everything so far, because he's friends with Jon, and why... You or know, just a badass guy. Or just a badass guy. Who knows? And... I, but, and here's the thing, end of the show, they're going to be ending with Sam writing out the last page of the book, and that was A Game of Thrones. Yes. Uh, there have been several Easter eggs, like, if you look in the, what is that place called? The, Cid- the, the Citadel. The Citadel. The, Citadel. the Citadel. The top, the, like, little ball at the top is the same thing that we see at the opening. Yeah. Um, there's also been, like, references where, like, no one is currently writing down, like, what's happening. Uh-huh. So Sam is going to be the one, like, writing down. And then Professor Slughorn had an exchange with him with some very, like... Like how we call uh, yeah. Draco Malfoy in the Flash, just Draco. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he, he said something of, like, 
oh, like this is the title of like what I would call this chapter, but no one's writing this right now. He's like, and Sam is like, really? You wouldn't write something a little, you wouldn't name it a little something more poetic, like a song of fire and ice? Ice and fire. Ice and fire, my bad. Wow. Yeah. And they literally He's said George R. R. Martin. <laughs> and they literally Mind said a song of Ice and Fire. Blown. They brought Ice that and Fire. That is together. some deep ass ass. I've already shared my theory about how I think. But it it's like, mm, snaps to you. I'm here for it. If you watch Westworld, season finale of Westworld shows no, there's more than one Westworld. I hate it. It's I not hate the Westworld theory. theory. I, hate, I hate the Westworld theory. I love theory. it. I think it's going to be Westworld. If it is, you know I'm going to be so mad. And the reason why Cersei keeps winning because she's a human. <laughs> Everybody else is just. just just, uh, what are they called in Westworld? I can't remember All right, called. Kevin. Bots. I don't bots. Know. The robots. Yeah. <laughs> but yes. That's why Johnson came back to life, because they killed him. Because he's like, a oh, robot. No. <laughs> Just kidding. That's not going to happen, Kevin. The Red Witch. Do you think she's going to kill what's-his-face? Varys? Varys. Yeah. It's well, either way, they're both going to die, apparently. So. I think in Westeros. I think she saw Varys dying in the flames, but I don't know. She ain't going to kill him. Varys got a tan. <laughs> yeah, man, he been getting tanner each episode. <laughs> He's like, man, this Westeros sun, mm, this is nice. I love when I light his dragonstone just right, mm, <laughs> just right. <laughs> I can't with you guys. Dancing in the pool, dragonstone light. I get it. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I was trying to make a joke. It didn't work. But something that is working, and it's the last thing. It's kind of what we teased at the beginning of the episode. So I was on a super secret mission last week. Yeah, you were. Yeah. It wasn't super secret because they told you that I was on a super secret mission, but that's a different thing. <laughs> 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 but our good friends, uh, Day, props to Day, uh, and Activision are actually, uh, I went out to go meet with them and talk with them, just to how they like our podcast and stuff. They want to send us boys and girl, because she's not here, <laughs> uh, to Orlando. Ooh. What? Next week. Nice. We will be broadcasting from Orlando. Ah, Yagadi. I think in a hotel, maybe on the beach. <laughs> right by the beach. Hey, I don't know, I don't know where beach. yet. Still getting details. But the Crisis Crew, Crisis Limited Podcast, will be attending the Call of Duty World Championships live from Orlando, Florida. Woohoo! Woo-hoo! And we we're hyped to go. A lot of fun. Yeah. Like, we're going to have fun. I'm super jealous. Boys and girl. <laughs> and Eric, we can't go. So jealous. Because his, his child. Child and show. And show. And the show. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we're actually going to be covering esports next week, which will be sick because yeah, we don't really talk about esports, but we're excited about it. Yes. Can you get me some swag? Some, of course. Some swaggy? Just we'll, some swag. We'll Free stuff. It. Well, you didn't we'll ask last time. We were going to, but you were like, no, nah, don't give me anything. No, I know, because that, you know what? I, that, that's... I have an EA bag if you want it. No, no. Okay. You want my want, hat? No. I want you my swag. t-shirt that, that's a small? Am I it's not going to you. You know what? I give, give you my Captain Underpants cape. For, no, come back. no. Uh, I literally no. say you're Captain Underpants. I was like, I no one wants their no. underpants. I said I want you to get me some swag, so if there's like a Madden pin or like Probably a not. pin. We get some Call of Duty stuff. Okay. Fine. A Fine, pin, I guess. Some uh, kind of something. Please. I'm bringing oh, money. God. But no, yeah. don't spend money. Free stuff. <laughs> We're excited to just, just be there and be in esports. Esports. Sort of on the rise a lot more now with games like Overwatch, Call of Duty, Rocket League now. So yeah, we'll be there next week. Maybe stay tuned. We, the episode might be on a Friday instead of a Thursday just because we leave on Thursday morning. Depending on when we land in. <laughs> At the airport. <laughs> hey, we just landed in Orlando. <laughs> Do it on the plane. Uh, uh, Everyone to jump in on crisis. Uh, I mean, we could. I don't Hey, I guess we could use your phones on, up 30,000 feet. Be like, and we're flying. And we're flying here at Crisis Crew. What's Crisis that? Crew. <laughs> What's a Crisis Crew? But then has been restrained oh, in pro- the back. Oh. I bet Crisis is one of those words you can't say on a plane. Sorry, we're here with the Crisis Crew. We're going to fall right now. <laughs> Please be afraid of the Crisis Crew. The Crisis Podcast. They'll put at us in Andrew the- Hoodie, at Motec, at Cup of Javi. And at Pity. Pity. P I T T Y Y Y Y. I forgot we had that megaphone. <laughs> Never forget the megaphone. <laughs> Never forget the megaphone. <laughs> Sorry. But we're excited um, just to show you what that world is because, you know, we've it's been the year of dreams for uh, the podcast, guys. Uh, one dream. We've been to PAX. We've been to E3. We've been to Walker Stalker Con. And now we're going to Orlando. Orlando. For esports. And to get a tan for hoodie. Yagadi, yagadi. Because <laughs> I am so pale right now. <laughs> We've been yeah, to too do. many conventions and they're not getting <laughs> tan. <laughs> We're always inside. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for hanging out with us this week. Stick around next week. We're, we'll have an episode. We don't know when it's coming out, but it'll be out next week for sure. We'll, we'll let you know out. at infinite underscore pods. But thank you at Miss Eric V for joining us. No, thank you guys. It's always been a pleasure. Mm-hmm. I love working with the three of you. Next time, hopefully Alex can join us. Sorry, I get really long winded and talk. Oh, it's good. It's good content. Ah, I've got a lot of questions. Keep the conversation going, man. Yeah. So thank you again. Mm. 
You guys are great. I'm so proud of the three of you. Love it. Thank you. We oh. love you. But <laughs> my name is Hoodie. And I'm Kevin. And I'm Javi. And I'm Mr. Eric V. And make sure you like us and follow us on every podcast platform, iHeart, iTunes, Google Play. Just leave a rating, a five, a four, something. We want to improve for you, cover everything you want, all the nerdy news you need to know. And you just listened to the 41st episode of Crisis Crisis on Infinite Infinite Podcast. Podcast.